Hello! Welcome back. Once again, you know what we're playing, and you know why we play it. Resident Evil 4. Now, when we last left off, I had my good friend Kenshin with me here. And we just uh, narrowly escaped the sores because of Salazar's great old uh, insect pets that tore us apart. So, we were a little uh, low on ammo here and whatnot, but we're alright now, so... With that said, we head on. Where are we? I really don't remember, to be honest. I really don't remember what's coming up. I'm just going with it. <laughs> Alright, uh, nothing we could get there. We got a little uh, letter here on the table. Castellan Memo. For many years, the Salazar family has served as the Castellans of this castle. However, not everything is bright, for my ancestry has a dark past. Long ago, there was, one, there was once a religious group that had deep roots in this religion called the Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellan of the castle took away their rights and powers. As a follower of this religion, and as the eighth Castellan, or Castellan, I felt that it was my duty, as well as my responsibility, to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for the sin was to give power back to those who we once took it away from, the Los Illuminados. As expected, it took a little time, but we were able to rejuvenate the once-sealed Los Plagos with the success I was one step closer to the revival of the Los Illuminados. The reason why I released the Los Plagos from deep under the castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins of my ancestors, but I felt certain that the Lord uh, would make you... U better use of this power to help save the world. To save those that have sinned with the power of the lost Plagos, and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners. The way it would be meant to be, once cleansed, they would become one of the many Ganados, where they would find the reason to live. And after the Lord was succeeded in creating the world in which he had envisioned, and the sins of Salazar family found to be atoned for. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. And I think that was a, a letter from our good friend um, Midget Salazar. The Lord of the Castle. <laughs> Alright, oh, I forgot about this part. Now over here we got these, uh, sniper dudes. What I tend to do here is get my sniper rifle out. Um, reload it, because we're going to need to reload it. Kick the door open, and... And he's about to shoot his arrow, so I back off. Kick it open again. Jesus! There you go. Alright, that hurt me a little bit. Just a little bit. Here, we'll go ahead and use our brown chicken egg right now, because I don't really plan on using it much, so... Okay, get our hanging back on. And now we got some work to do. We got some work to do, fella. Got some work to do, fella. I know I saw a guy here. There he is. Watch this. Boom! You are dead! Don't forget to grab the shotgun ammo here, and... I'm gonna try something. That never really works. Let me see if I can do it. No, nope, didn't work. Uh, I, I used to be able to shoot the guy in the red you saw up there who was running like a little girl. Um, it's possible, I think, to kill him before he initiates a sequence later, which you'll see in a bit, but... I've never been able to do it, so... Whatever. Alright, you're dead, you're dead. Now we got some pots we can collect here. Got some goodies, including this green herb. Uh, let's see, nothing here. Money. What else we got? Just more shotgun ammo, can never get enough of that. That's nice. Another velvet blue. Alright, we head down here and grab more money. And now... Glory yes to be whatever they're saying. Buy that SUV. Alright, now. Ooh. More crates. Hey, it doesn't hurt to be uh, reloading myself with some ammo now after that horrendous sewer battle. I come up. Oh, we got a guy with the mask. Shoot him in his leg, and we're gonna take him out with a knife. One bullet per guy. That is my goal for a little while. Oh, the suplex that had to hurt. He's dead. His head didn't get smashed like I wanted it to, but whatever, we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. Nothing here. Let's go around. Wow, 
Watch this, guys. There's two guys waiting for us there. Check this out. My trick. My trick. One shot to kill two. And that red guy is hauling ass again. Damn that red guy. Here we go. They're both dead. Just like that. See? These tricks do work. The good old barrels. It's locked. Oh, no. It's locked. More shotgun shells. Ooh, lots of money. Sweet. All right, we head up. The guy running for his life. Come back here. What a chicken sh... Oh, I can't say it. I can't say that. I can't say that. I'll get in trouble. More rifle ammo. Sweet. Oh! We got a shield, man. You know what that means, right? <clears throat> Come on through to door number one. Where I will greet you, buddy. Come on, you can open it. There you go. Come and get me. Come to Papa. Yes. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Get my handgun back on, and now we should be able to take him out like any other normal Ganado. Right, buddy? Right? Right. Suplex to the head. More money. I love your money. I'll take it. I will take it. Alright. Run! Come back here! Come back here, you coward! Come back! Anything here? No. Open the door, and this is why I said if you could kill, manage to kill the guy earlier, you're in good shape. That guy has his damn machine gun. And that can tear you up pretty well if uh, you don't know how to handle it. So what I do here... Wait till the bullets are done. Go. Zoom. Shoot. Alright, it took me three bullets. Not that good. Usually it's only supposed to take me uh, two, but whatever. We got him without taking a hit. That's all that matters. Alright. And like I said, the first time I did that, I've died so many times of that annoying guy because I didn't know where to go. Um, basically what I did is, like an idiot, I ran through this, straight through this door, and I got machine gun to death. So, yeah, that didn't work so well. Ooh, we got a gallery key! What is it for? Well, if you remember, this is where we came from. We basically, there was that door that was locked on the top. We could get through now. Nothing to it. So I'll just run up, back up the steps, run around the big circle, because it's always got to be a maze, nothing is easy in this game. <laughs> Jump down, and we can use the key here. It's locked! Oh my god, I wonder what we got to use, the gallery key. If you guys ever played, guys and girls ever played the... The older Resident Evils, you would know that these the puzzles in the older ones were a lot more challenging. Here, it's pretty straightforward. Alright, and we shoot down a Velvet Blue from the Elk statue. And do we have anything here? More money, okay. Now, this is the easiest puzzle in the world. The sacrifice of six lives shall make way to the true path. This is how easy it is. One, press the one button. Two, three, four... Okay, it's that easy. Easiest puzzle in the world. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next door. We got... Oh boy. Oh crap, I forgot about this part. What a pleasant surprise. But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man. <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Oh, shit. Oh shit. We're screwed. Ah! 
All right, guys. My strat here. Well, grenade. Yeah, that's my strat. <laughs> I'm gonna get my handgun out, and we're gonna get we're gonna get sniped. So we gotta be very careful here. Crap. Maybe I could just uh, slice this guy to death. Oh crap. More arrow guys, I forget about that. <laughs> 